स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व मिसलेनियस प्रॉब्लम सेट वन वी टेक वन और टू एग्जाम्पल्स फ्रॉम ईच क्वेश्चन लेट्स टेक फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज निगेटिव सिक्सटीन इन टू निगेटिव फाइव ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट रूल्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ इंटीजर्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू निगेटिव इंटीजर्स इज पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स सो हियर निगेटिव सिक्सटीन इन टू निगेटिव फाइव इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन इंटू फाइव इज इक्वल टू एटी और एंसर इज पॉजिटिव एटी देन टेक सेकंड एग्जाम्पल सेवनटी टू डिवाइडेड बाय निगेटिव ट्वेल्व ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट रूल्स ऑफ डिविजन ऑफ इंटीजर्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ अ पॉजिटिव नंबर एंड अ निगेटिव नंबर इज ऑलवेज निगेटिव नंबर सो हियर पॉजिटिव सेवनटी टू डिवाइडेड बाय निगेटिव ट्वेल्व एंसर इज निगेटिव सिक्स सेकंड क्वेश्चन फाइंड द प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स एंड फाइंड देयर एलसीएम एंड एच सी एफ वी टेक फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन सेवनटी फाइव एंड वन हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव वी सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल बाय वर्टिकल अरेजमेंट राइट दिस टू नंबर सेवनटी फाइव एंड वन हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव इन वन लाइन इन सच वे दिस टू नंबर आर डिविजिबल बाय फाइव सो हियर वी राइट फाइव वी राइट प्राइम फैक्टर्स इन दिस कॉलम वेन सेवनटी फाइव इज डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव देन एंसर इज फिफ्टीन फेन वन हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव इज डिविजिबल बाय फाइव देन द एंसर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन देन दीज टू नंबर्स फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन आर डिविजिबल बाय थ्री सो हियर वी राइट थ्री फेन फिफ्टीन इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री द एंसर इज फाइव फेन ट्वेंटी सेवन इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री द एंसर इज नाइन देन वी फाइंड एच सी एफ एच सी एफ मीन्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ कॉमन फैक्टर्स इन दीज टू नंबर्स सो हियर कॉमन फैक्टर्स आर फाइव एंड थ्री फाइव इंटू थ्री सो हियर HCF is fifteen. Then LCM is multiplication of common factors and these uncommon factors. So here we write five into three into five into nine. So it is equal to five into three into five into nine is equal to six hundred seventy five. So LCM of seventy five and one hundred thirty five is six hundred seventy five, and LCM of these two numbers is fifty. Question number three, simplify. We take first example from this question: three hundred twenty-two upon three hundred ninety-one. Here, our first step is divide the bigger number by the smaller one. So here we write three hundred ninety-one divided by three hundred twenty-two. Three hundred twenty-two. Ones are three hundred twenty-two. Here we get the remainder sixty-nine. Then 
our second step is divide this first divisor by this remainder so here we write 322 divided by 69 then 69 fours are 276 then here we get the remainder 46 then again we divide by this divisor in the second step 69 by this remainder 46 so here 69 divided by 46 then 46 ones are 46 69 minus 46 is equal to 23 then again divide the divisor in the third step 46 by this remainder 23 so here we write 46 divided by 23 then 23 twos are 46 Then the remainder is zero. Here we continue this process till remainder becomes zero. In this example, when remainder becomes zero, the divisor twenty three is HCF of these two numbers. That means twenty three. Ah, uh, these two numbers are Divided by twenty three. So here we write three hundred twenty two divided by twenty three upon three hundred ninety one divided by twenty three. So here the answer is fourteen upon seventeen. Question four: Find the square root of the following numbers. We take first example from this question: seven hundred eighty-four. Find the square root of seven hundred eighty-four. First, we find prime factors of this number by vertical method. Seven hundred eighty-four is even number, so it is divisible by two. When we write prime factor in this column, when seven hundred eighty-four is divided by two, answer we get three hundred ninety-two. Then three hundred ninety-two is also divisible by two. When three hundred ninety-two is divided by two, we get the answer. One hundred ninety-six. Then one hundred ninety-six is also divisible by two. When one hundred ninety-six is divided by two, we get the answer ninety-eight. Then again ninety-eight is divisible by two. When ninety-eight is divided by two, we get the answer forty-nine. Then forty nine is divisible by seven. When forty nine is divided by seven, we get the answer seven. Then again seven is divisible by seven. When seven is divided by seven, we get the we get the answer one. Now next step is write these prime factors in horizontal method. Seven hundred eighty-four is equal to two into two into two into two into seven into seven. Then next step is make the pairs from these factors. So here we make the pairs from these factors. Now next step is to find the square root of 
784 we take one factor from each pair we take two from this pair then we take two from this pair then we take seven from this pair and multiply it so here answer is 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 7 is equal to 28 therefore square root of 784 is equal to 28 question number 6 simplify the expressions we take first example from this question 45 divided by 5 plus 20 multiplied by 4 minus 12. All of you know about rules of simplification of expression. When more than one operation carried out, then division and multiplication carried out first in order in which they occur from left to right. So here, First we carried out 45 divided by 5, answer is 9. Plus 20 into 4, answer is 80 minus 12. Then after carried out addition and subtraction in order in which they occur from left to right. So here... 9 plus 80 is equal to 89 minus 12. So the answer is 89 minus 12 is equal to 77. Question 7 solve. We take second example from this question. 3 and 2 upon 5 minus 2 and 1 upon 4. First, we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So here, 5 into 3 is 15, 15 plus 2, 17 upon 5 minus 4 into 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9, 9 upon 4. Now here, 17 upon 5 minus 9 upon 4. Here denominator are different. So first we make the denominator equal. 17 into 4 is equal to 68. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Minus 9 into 5 is equal to 45. And 4 into 5 is equal to 20. Now here denominator are same. So we subtract numerator from this numerator. 68 minus 45 is equal to 23 upon 20. 